Hey, hello all. So today we are going to see the source stack, which is a part of our Chrome Developer Tool series. Okay. So we will going to learn this how this uh, what we can do in the source stack. Okay. So mainly the source stack is used for the debugging purpose. So we are going to learn how we can debug this here with the source stack. So first uh, let's learn with the debugging with the JavaScript file. Okay. Let me start with the one sample project. Okay. So I will create one folder here, demo okay. on desktop. Okay. And I will just open the VS code. If it's not installed, you can just easily install the VS code from their official website. Okay, I just open this VS code here. Okay, let me open the folder here. I'm going to the file, open folder, and I'm it's on desktop. So demo file, demo folder. I just open the demo folder okay, inside the VS code. I will create the some uh, one file here. Let's say index.html. Okay, and I will create again another file that app.js file for uh, to write our JavaScript code. So in index.js, I will write HTML code. So just uh, I will press this exclamatory mark and just press the control space. So it will suggest me this thing. I will just press enter. So it will, it will generate this whole template for template of HTML for me. So you can also use this shortcut. Okay, let me write it here. Let's say learn debugging. Okay. Let me add this app.js to this HTML. So let me create script tag here and src app dot js so i added this app.js to this html file now we have this app.js okay. so now we want to run this html file in our browser so one way is to open with a live server so you can take this live server from we have this extension tab here okay so just click on this extension search for live server and enter here so you will get first thing here live server just install this extension in your vs code so then also you will you will also get this option open with the live server okay so i will click on the open with live server so it will just open yeah it will just open that index.html in, in our browser so you can see here learn debugging this code we have here we just written here so so let me go to this developer section so just click here right click go to inspect so we have the sources tab okay now so in the sources tab press control p or command p if you are on mac just press command p or if you are on windows just press control p okay i'm on mac so i'm pressing command p so now search for your file like app.js so this is our javascript file okay so this is just empty now so let's write some code here and start with the debugging okay so go to app.js now let's okay uh, i will start uh, some random function let's say even that function will give us like is number even or not okay let me add that function quickly Okay, I created this easy one function now. Okay, this will give this number. Okay, and it, it will just check number is mod. If number is even, if number mod to equal to zero, then it's a even number, otherwise it's a not even number. Okay, I will just call this function here. So I just pass the number here, like let's say four. Okay, and yeah, uh, I'll go to here browser okay and now you can see we have this code javascript code so let's start with the debugging first before starting the debugging you need to add the breakpoints here so let me add up some breakpoint here so that i can debug the code at there so adding the breakpoint is very easy so just go to here you can see these numbers here one two three four five okay in this file so just uh, let's say i'm adding the breakpoint one here click here one is line number four and line number six line number nine and let's say nine number 12 
Okay, so I added the debug debug points. So first step is adding the debug points. Now let's refresh the page so that program will start. Okay, now we I am I have refreshed the page. So now program start execution. Now first program will start from here line number twelve. So this is our first debug point here. Okay, so it will it is now program is stopped here. You can see this thing here resume this button here like this blue button here so when you click on this button it will resume the program execution now the program is program execution is stopped okay so so it's just pause now when i click on this resume here now just you can click on this this button also or you can press the function key like a f8 key you can press like command uh, you can press the function f8 i will click on this here so it is going on the next line here so it's inside this easy one so it's the next breakpoint here okay so now so you can see our I, when i'm hovering on this number i'm getting this four so i can debug this now the value of this number is four i will click on this again it is going to so it goes to next debug point so so num so because so because number so num is four four mod two equal to zero so it goes inside this if block so easy one is true okay now i will click on the next debug point so it goes here on line number nine and it is showing me this value as true which is assigned in this first if block so it will just return this i will click on the next debug point so it goes to the next debug point so after returning this i think this function is ended so that's why our program is program execution is completed so in this way you can debug your program okay so so these are all the breakpoints let me when you click on right click here and go to remove all breakpoints so i removed all breakpoints okay so in this way you can debug your application i will show you one another example okay let me go to here mm -hmm. let me comment out this let me comment out all the code okay so you can comment out like you, yeah, you can just select all the code whatever you want this okay and you can just press command slash on mac or control slash control plus slash on windows Okay, so let me add one uh, another course method. Let's say for loop. We have the for loop here. Let i is equal to zero. I is less than five. I plus plus. Okay, and let's say I am here just printing this thing. Okay, so we have this one for loop for loop here. Okay, so inside this for loop, let me add one debug point here. So I added the debug point here. Okay. I will add another one line here. Let's say yeah. end. End. Okay. So this is end. So so this is end. So I will add one more debug point here. So I added these two debug points. Okay. So this is the breakpoint sections. So line number 15, line number 18. I will just refresh the page. Okay. So now it goes inside this for loop. Okay. So you need to see this how uh, it's printing this value of i so just uh, go to here uh, at right side we have these three dots here just press on three dots here and click on show console draw so it it will open the console log you can just press the escape key also like let's say i click on the escape key so it went it went this section okay now just again click escape so it, you got this con uh, console log console uh, section again okay i will just uh, make it big here okay. the screen okay to just understand here okay yeah okay i will just okay so now it's inside this for loop okay now i will click on here like now it's stopped this program is stopped here i will resume this so resumed so it goes to the next breakpoint so it's i think it's a for loop it's completed first iteration it printed zero it goes to the next iteration i will click on the again here so it prints that again one I will just clicking i will go to the next next point okay next next so you can see so it's printing it's doing this execution of this code so it printed zero to four values for this for loop so we debug this and let it's a uh, program is on line number 18 now program execution so now it's still end is not printed because we pause the program execution using this debugging okay so this is the main advantage we can pause the program execution with the, this breakpoint okay i will resume this so resume so it printed end and whole pro whole uh, program is executed now. Okay, so in this way you can debug your for loops and enter code in your JavaScript. I hope you understand how debugging 
is working in your browser and you can how we can debug the javascript code with the help of this sources tab so that's it for this video i will uh, see you again in your next video thank you